we made it to Bosnia Herzegovina and it was easy to cross the border. We just had to show our passports and our registration and then they looked in the van. They just we opened the doors, they looked inside and then that's all. Now we are at a supermarket and we're gonna go see if we can get a SIM card and just see what kind of food they have here. <laughs> Try these mini mini chocolate. Hey, I'm a little old. They look like this. What is it? Try. I feel like it's nothing special. It's like the chocolate is not that good and the cracker part or whatever it is it's not that good either it's just like meh. i think it's the cracker part so it's the that gets like a three out of ten our first day here in Bosnia. We arrived last night and now we are walking up to a memorial. We have to take all these stairs up to see them. I went up here last night because I wanted a picture of them when it was dark and it was a little creepy because there was no light down here. You were just walking in the dark. Now we are making our way up to see the rocks. way back down all the steps going back to the van and driving on if we can make it out of the parking lot because people parked very close to us so if they haven't moved we'll have an issue but we'll see this like abandoned parking lot or maybe there's just no people it's only us <laughs> but look at this view it's gorgeous Sina is just preparing some lunch and then we'll eat and after that we are driving on we're going to see a waterfall and then after that we're going to Mostar we're not going to the city center today we're just parking outside and then maybe go tomorrow today's a Sunday so I'm guessing there will be a lot of people. I'm also a bit worried about the waterfall. There's a lot, a lot of people, but we'll see.
Google Maps has led us to a very narrow road in like some kind of neighborhood and it makes me a little nervous. Apparently we're not going to the waterfall today, we're going to another place that was also on my list but I thought this was where the waterfall was, turns out it is not so we just parked the van and now we're walking to like a cave thing. We just saw the beautiful house and cave. We didn't go inside the cave because you have to book a boat tour, but we just saw it from the outside. And then there's a ton of birds and this beautiful stream. And we also saw snakes, so that's why the scene is like this. Because there was a tiny snake. I'll insert a video. It was kind of disgusting. So now we are leaving and Sina is watching her every step. We are going back to the van, driving to the place we are camping for the night and making dinner. So see you tomorrow morning for sunrise. slept right here next to this beautiful cross on the top of a mountain here in Bosnia and Herzegovina and I woke up for sunrise it's so beautiful let me show you We decided to park a van here at a paid parking lot in Mostar. So we are so close to the city center and there's lots of space but it's also more expensive. Um, yeah, there's other cameras here as well and I think it's like 10 euros for a day. Now we're walking to the city center of Mostar. We are at the bridge here in Mostar, probably the most famous tourist attraction, so we went here early. And now we are looking for a little snack because I woke up for sunrise this morning and I also woke Sina up, so we had breakfast pretty early. So now we are already a little bit hungry. Let's find snacks. <laughs> We bought a little sweet at the bakery. I got it with chocolate and Zini got it with cherry because she's a crazy guy.
We didn't really make any plans for Mustafa, so now we're just walking around in the small alleys. And then I think you'll find a place to have some lunch. Uh. We walked down a little alley and then we found this little private spot. It's just us and one other guy. And the water's right there. If we had our swimsuits on, we could take a dip. Even though there's this very strong current. And this beautiful view of this church on the other side. It's so beautiful here. And the water is so blue. So let's walk back into the city center and find much. We're walking back to our van and driving towards a waterfall. Mostar was a beautiful city, but if you go here, go early in the morning because Right now there's so many people, so we are happy we were there in the morning because there were less people. And yeah, it's very hot now, so we are leaving and I am sweating. A memorable thing happened. I was pooped on by a bird in my hair. So that's annoying when you live in a van and can't really just take a shower. So I fused that bird. <laughs> So I've seen a lot of local people try these ones. They're called Snacky Original Fresh Baked Peanuts. So I thought I would try them. This bag with how many? 80 grams? It's probably 50 cents for this bag. So, whoa! As soon as you open them, peanut flavor. So if you don't like peanuts, they look like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love, 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 love the consistency. I love when it's like, you know, kind of like when they freeze that dry candy. Like that kind of, ooh, I love that. Snacky, 8.5 out of 10 from me. Delicious. And a 7 course from Zenith. Parked the van, now we're exploring the little campground. We are parked right by the Clarity Falls. Along all these other campus. Drove in at 6 o'clock and then man was just like, just go in. We had to pay an entry fee of 10 euros each and we got in for free because he was like, just, just go in. And right? the security guy was like, are you sure about that? Yeah, because you had to go into an office to buy the ticket first. I went in there and he was just like, just walk in. But I was like, no, I have a van. And he's like, oh, you can't camp at the falls. And I was like, no, there is a, I'm going to the campground in there. And then he was just like, okay, then just drive in. And now we have to pay 15 euros to park here. But then we just drove in and saved 20 euros.
my god. Do I have a story time for you? I just spent three hours looking for my drone because I crashed it into a tree. It was at the top of the tree and I spent three hours because first I had to relocate where it was and then I just ran towards the location because there's GPS on the um, drone and I found the drone because it was still on you could see it blinking at the top of the tree and I was like oh no and then I went like you had to climb up this like almost like a fence of stone and then you had to climb through trees and whatever and like walk through a tree, tree and bushes and everything was prickly and it was awful and then I tried because it was so high up in the tree I was like oh I can't climb that then I was just throwing stones throwing stones trying to hit the branch so it would fall down and my like my arm is so sore because I've been throwing stones for like almost three hours and I was exhausted sweat was running down my face because I was wearing like a long sleeve shirt boots and a long pair of leggings because I was scared of like something biting me so I was like I need to cover all my skin <sighs> and then in the end I decided to climb the tree after I used all my powers so my legs were shaking and I was just climbing up this tree and it was filled with ants it was nasty and then I climbed all the way up and I did like that and then the drone fell down all the way to the bottom and then I went around the tree and then I got the drone and now I have the drone noodles on the floor. Glamorous. Oh, glamorous. 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 <laughs>